Hello everyone, welcome back to Howling Hoosier Outdoors. So today we're going to be talking about three survival hacks that I've learned about Bic lighters over the years. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the Bic lighter itself. A lot of these Bic lighters come with decorative uh, plastic coatings and sheaths and stuff that come over. And I found that they really don't serve a purpose and then they wear and tear and end up peeling off anyway in my pocket. But also, if you peel those off, you can then see how much fluid is left in your lighter. If you see that shaking down, you can see that this lighter is actually a little less than halfway full. And that's just a quick way of seeing how much is left, especially if you tilt it sideways. Next hack that we can talk about is just duct tape. Duct tape, as I've shown in a previous video, is a phenomenal emergency fire starter. So I'll, keep it, uh, I'll typically keep a stash of it wrapped around the duct tape, and this is just half of a standard roll of duct tape. The next hack that we're going to do is we're going to pop this little device thing off. I believe that this is a child safety um, child safety device in order to make it more difficult in order to strike the lighter. And we're just going to pop that off. What this does, using my Swiss Army knife, insert that straight underneath, and then it's pulled straight up. And that's going to send it flying. And that's just going to go. And there you go. And that makes it incredibly easy to light, which is not a bad thing when you're dealing with cold weather out on the trail or if you're even trying to dry this out. So if this Bic lighter gets wet, you can then blow on this, and that's going to dry out the striking surfaces that ignite the butane coming out a lot easier than if that guard was in place. Last but not least, we're gonna wrap this in paracord. So my personal preference in how to wrap these is you're gonna create a bite at the end of a hank of paracord. I'm gonna start this at the bottom placing the bite down, then the extra, and then we're just gonna wrap this. I've seen people wrap their walking sticks like this. I've seen people wrap their knife handles like this. I understand that I'm watching this wrap through the camera so this is a little bit trickier than I thought. It's not going to be as tight as I'd like, but y'all will at least get the gist of this. So once we get about right here, feed this working end through your first bite. Pull that all the way through. And then up here, when you pull this one, it's going to tighten this entire thing down. Now you have an extra hank of paracord along with your uh, emergency duct tape. Now I've also seen people tape uh, sail needles or keep those strassed, uh, strapped along the inside here. Um, I've also seen people modify their lanyards in a way, or this wrap in a way that it fits underneath here so that way you don't have to worry about depressing this and then fuel leaking out. But what is also really cool is that with this extra amount, at the end of this, you can then tie a knot, not just a simple overhand knot, or in this case, we're gonna do a bowline. But this will create a loop that you can then secure this lighter to your person, either through a belt loop. That's a really small bowline, we're gonna redo that. So this will either be able to secure to a belt loop, order a pocket, so that way you can quickly access it if you need to. There you go. So we're gonna pretend that this is a belt loop. Peel that. Feed that lighter back through. And then that'll just sit nicely on your belt loop, belt loop. So anytime that you need to pull it out quickly, you can just yank on this paracord. Alrighty folks. Those are just three Bic, uh, I guess that'd be technically four Bic, uh, survival hacks, uh, Bic lighter hacks. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Stay awesome, folks.